Welcome to this week's episode of the Week in Triathlon. Let's roll that intro and get stuck into this week's news. Up in the news this week is that Ironman owners of Wonder Sports in China have just bought the Cape Epic mountain bike stage race in South Africa. The idea is to turn the Cape Epic into a sort of a corner of mountain biking and build a catalogue of qualifying events similar to what's being used in the Ironman model. So this catalogue of qualifying events will incorporate mountain biking events across the planet or qualifying athletes to race the Cape Epic as being the pinnacle of the mountain biking stage racing worldwide like what Kona is to Ironman racing. Then on to Ironman specifically and that Ironman has announced the addition of three new 70.3 events in China for 2017. And just like the other 70.3 events in China that were launched for 2016, that, uh, which since the Wonder Group took over the running of Ironman, or the ownership and running of Ironman, these three new 70.3s will each award 30 Kona slots to age group athletes. So once, so once again, the what's being built up here is the only 70.3 races worldwide that will be awarding direct full distance Ironman Kona qualifying slots will all be happening in China. Interesting point that. And then things that um, for certain re- um, con- situations completely outside of my control that there wasn't a week in triathlon a week ago. Now as far as the report back from the events are concerned I've got two weeks of um, Ironmans to give you the results on and we start off with the back on the Saturday the 6th of August there was the Ironman 70.3 Otto Power in Estonia we had Verena Walter of Germany picking up the ladies title while Viktor Zamtsev of the Ukraine picked up the men's title then on to Sunday the 7th of August there was the Ironman 70.3 in Gindia, Poland Diana Riesler of Germany won the ladies' race, while Ivan Tutukin of Russia picked up the men's title. Then, also on the 7th of August, Sunday the 7th of August, there was the Asia Pacific Championship in the Philippines, and um, the as far as the winners of that event are concerned, I refer you across to the detailed report on that specific event that I put together in how the race was won. So go check that out. Link in the description below. Then there was the full distance Ironman in Colorado, USA on the um, Sunday the 7th of August and there there were no pro athletes in competing so no pro race to report on. Then on to Sunday the 14th of August there was the Ironman 70.3 in Dublin with Susie Keaton of Great Britain picking up the ladies' t- title, while Ben Collins of the USA won the men's title. Then there was the Ironman 70.3 Steelhead, no pro athletes, so no pro race to report on. Ironman 70.3 in Chengdu, um, that when the ladies' race was won by Sarah Crowley of Australia, while Brad Williams of the USA won the men's title. Then there was the Ironman 70.3 European Championship, um, Melissa Halshield of Australia won the ladies title while the men's title was picked up by Andres Dries of Germany. This coming weekend in Ironman racing, Saturday the 20th of August, is Ironman Sweden. Saturday the 21st of August, you've got the Ironman 70.3 Timmerman, and that's in New Hampshire, USA. You've got the Ironman Copenhagen, that's in Denmark. You've got the Ironman Coraline in Idaho, USA. You've got the Ironman Mont Blanc in Quebec, Canada, and you've got the Ironman 70.3 Ohio, USA. On to Challenge Family News. No specific news, uh, newsy type of do- uh, content from the Challenge Family this week. However, what they have done is they've launched their own in-house e-zine uh, magazine. 
and I took a look through the first edition copy and all, what I effectively saw was a collection of race previews of events scheduled for the coming months that still have unsold entries as well as a couple of pages where people can purchase um, challenge family merchandise and that's effectively all of note that I saw from the um, challenge family easing. Then as far as report backs and events are concerned, back on Saturday the 6th of August there was a half challenge Federica in Denmark. Camilla Pedersen of Denmark picked up the ladies title. Thomas Strange of also of Denmark picked up the men's title. Then more recently on Sunday the 14th of August we had the half challenge Iskandar in Malaysia. Amelia Watkinson picked of New Zealand picked up the ladies title while Brad Kallefeld uh, picked up the men's title on to challenge same day, um, Sunday the 14th of August, moving on to the challenge. Uh, Regensburg, Julia Velleher of Germany won the ladies title while Jan Raphael of Germany won the men's title. Then there was a half challenge in Turk 2 uh, which was won by Ivan van Flaken of the Netherlands, while the men's title was picked up by Yaroslav uh, Kovicic of Slovenia. This coming weekend in the world of the Challenge Family, Sunday the 21st of August, there is a half challenge in Samarin, Slovakia, as well as a half challenge in Maceo, Brazil. Interesting how they managed to get a half challenge in Brazil happening during the time that the Olympic Games is taking place. So interesting turn of developments there. As far as Xterra is concerned, no news from the world of Xterra for the past two weeks outside of race reports, which I'll be getting into now. Uh, two weeks ago on Saturday, the 6th of August, was Ironman Mexico. Susie Snyder of the USA won the ladies' title, while Rom Akerson of Costa Rica won the men's. Then on Sunday the 7th of August was Xterra Poland, Helena Erbanova of the Czech Republic won the ladies race, while Yari Luxem of Belgium won the men's. Then last weekend, Saturday the uh, 13th of August was Ironman Sweden, again Helena Erbanova picked up the ladies title, while Mauricio Mendez of Mexico won for the men. On the 14th of uh, August, Sunday the 14th of August, there was the Xterra Canmore in Alberta, Canada, zero pro athletes taking place, so no pro race to report on as far as that's concerned. Then this, this weekend, we've got Xterra Germany taking place on Saturday the 20th of August. Moving on to the ITU, the entire world of the ITU is fixated on Rio this weekend for the Women's Olympic Triathlon. And more of that on that in just a bit. Then, as far as the past couple of weeks in the world of ITU, on Sunday the 7th of August, there was the ITU World Cup that took place in Montreal, Canada. Flora Duffy of Bermuda won for the ladies, while Christian Blumenfeld of Norway won for the men. Then on Thursday the 18th of August was the Olympic Games Triathlon in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, the men's race, and that was won by Alastair Brownlee. Then, as far as the up-and-coming races are concerned, there's only one major up-and-coming race coming up on the, as far as ITU is concerned, and that's Saturday the 20th of August, when it will be the Rio Olympic Games Triathlon for Women. That brings me to the end of the week in triathlon for this week. Be sure to hit the like and share button, post any comments, questions, criticisms that you may have in the comment section down below. And very importantly, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button down there. Stay subscribed for all the new content that comes up every single day of the week. And until we meet again, stay carved up for the win. I'll see you next time. Cheers.